Hello, my awesome and amazing Capricorns. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What do they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Capricorn viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number seven. Power of number 12. And the number five. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 24. Some of you Capricorns are dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or another Capricorn born in the month of July. December. And yes, a lot of you Capricorns were born in the earlier part of January. That is true. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries born in the month of April. Others of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. And you could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Strong Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17, as well as Pisces energy coming in through the number 12. More Capricorn energy through the number 15. Sagittarius energy coming in again through the number 14. And some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign of the Zodiac, meaning Aquarius, Taurus, possibly a Leo, and or maybe even a Scorpio. Some of you were born in 1951, 1952, 1954, or 1957. Others of you were born in 1971, 1972, 1974, or 1975. You could be 21, 24, 25, or 27 years of age. You could also be 41, 42, 45 or 47 years old. And for my more mature audience, you could be 51, 52, 54, maybe even possibly 57 years old. So either way, go into the power of number 24 for the beautiful star sign of Capricorn messages from your specific person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Trusted ancestors of my Capricorn viewers and subscribers, what is the overall? General collective message, please, from Capricorn's person unto them. Show me what's up. Ooh. There's a hidden agenda going on. Got the moon card. There's something shady going on with your person. Confusion. Somebody could be having a revelation, secrets, the truth being hidden, suppressed emotions. This The moon can also talk about manifestations, but there's a hidden agenda or somebody, or your person has basically got suppressed emotions towards you, Capricorn. Behind the scenes, they are preparing to make communication with you. Page of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Your person could be dealing with a third-party situation as well. Okay. Talking to somebody else behind the scenes. Mm. But they're making plans. They're making plans on how to approach you. How to reach out to you. Some of them 
are lost in their thoughts right now or could be at a distance from you, the Two of Wands. But it is about making plans. There's some plans that are going on behind the scenes. Mm, this flipped out of the deck. Bad health. They're in a bad situation. Or they are stressed out right now, Capricorn. There is a third party. Could also be a mother figure. The main person, the main male, the mature woman, the mature male. They've been dealing with somebody else. Mm. There's a courthouse energy going on. Somebody's either going to get divorced or they somebody got married, but I'm picking up on divorce. You may catch tailwind from somebody because we do have a communicator card. You may find out, Capricorn, that somebody's getting a divorce. There's a thief, a con artist going on. Somebody's intentions here are not honorable. There was lies and deception massively, big time. Somebody was suppressing their emotions, dealing with the third party. They chose somebody else over you. There could also be a mother figure that's involved that's also creating havoc behind the scenes here. This person, Capricorn, gave you the runaround. I don't really see you in a romantic way. They made you feel invisible. Yet they don't know what they're missing out on. They thought they were getting better. But somebody's going to get taken advantage of or get taken to the courthouse. Right now, the most loving thing you can do is let me go. Letting go. There's an energy between us, a vibe that can't be denied. Energy. Somebody's changing their mind. So I feel like they gave you the runaround. They suppressed their emotions. They played it off as if they weren't into you, that they weren't interested. Even if you guys went out a couple times, you could have had some really great, deep conversations, could have been with them for a few years, whatever the case may be. Something's changing. Something's shifting here. They fell in love with a false person, Cap. like there's a change there's a change that's coming yeah spirit is saying trust this person has Basically, how do I want to say this? I don't know why this person, I'll, I'm going to be honest with you. This person is making me feel tongue twisted. Like they don't know what to say to you, Capricorn. They don't. I feel this person is getting their just goods because now it's like they're picking up on a frequency that is showing me energy. They really gave you the boot in the past. Now they know they have to earn your trust back. But when they come back, they feel like you're not going to believe them that they're lying to you. You're going to look at them as a liar. But it's saying... Situation is calling for you to have faith. Mm. 
this could be the one you already met the romantic partner that you seek. Yeah, but you know what? I look at this in a couple different ways. You are their soulmate. However, when they left you and they went off to this third party, they thought, oh, that's the one. That's my true soulmate. Well, they're dealing with the con artist. They're dealing with the thief. They're dealing with a gold digger. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. They're trying to stay positive about something here. But this person does not have their priorities straight. They don't even have their mindset straight. It's like, I love you, then I hate you, then I want you, and I hate you, and I love you. <laughs> this person's got to pull it together. can't stop thinking about you. Suppressed emotions. They can't. They just, they have suppressed emotions, but they can't stop thinking about you. Your face is consuming their thoughts. This is what they want to say to you. I wish I could... I wish I treated you better. Yeah, because now they know they got shit. They got shit with this other person. They're finding out. Again, back and forth, back and forth. This person is insecure. They're insecure, Capricorn. I love you, then I want you, and I hate you, but I love you, and I hate you. It's like, get it together. This person needs to get it together. Back and forth. I'm surprised I'm not seeing the two of swords, but I'm seeing the two of swords in my mind's eye. Make a decision. This person needs to make a decision, Cap. That's on them, not you. Mm, 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 mm. This person is confused, man. And that's what the moon card can do because they've been under confusion, delusional energy from their friends, their family members, etc. And the karmic third party. Some of them got secretively married behind the scenes or went into a higher level of commitment, but there is a confusing energy or there's a confession behind the scenes that they want to say to you because they can't stop thinking about you. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Juggling apples and oranges. They're back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. It's like... They're emotionally irregulated. Uh -huh. Spirit's telling me, this person's got a lot of pride. A lot of pride and ego. Their ego is so... I don't even know what level to describe their ego. Let's just put it this way. They're making me tongue twisted again. Is They don't know how to speak their truth. They don't know how to speak their truth. They, they're under this energy or an illusion or a spell of something. It's just like, it's ridiculous. Emperor energy coming in. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. They have to get it together. Don't take this person back. They need their head examined. Yeah, because they got a judgment call on them. They're coming back to revitalize the connection, but do they even understand why they're coming back, Cap? I don't know. There's a sense of familiar energy to them when they're near you. 
but you've got a courthouse card with the judgment. So there's a divorce, an impending divorce that's going to happen here too. The sun card, this can also bring in reconciliation. Again, they want to revitalize the connection, but they're not saying why. They're not bringing me an ace of cups, ace of pentacles, ten of cups, ten of pentacles. They're not showing me balance because they've been juggling. They're juggling their mental head space and their emotional heart space, and it's still not balanced. I told you they want to be in your presence because there's a sense of familiar energy. But guess what? This is a soulmate card. They'd rather be embracing you than this karmic third party. They don't know what to think. But somebody's going to get kicked to the curb. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to be left out in the cold. Somebody's going to get taken advantage of. I already have a thief card. Here we have a seven of seven of swords. There's a what goes around comes around because we have judgment. There's a breakup coming. There is a breakup coming. I feel so guilty about read it. I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. They're regretting what they said. They weren't thinking things through. They were being hasty. Some of you guys are dealing with air signs, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I'm not the same person. Mm -hmm. They're shook. Something happened to them. Or they, because we have a trust card, they want you to trust them again because they're not the same person when they come back. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I said they're thinking about you. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. They can't get you out of their system. They just can't. You know why? Because they have guilt. They have a lot of guilt. They know that they took advantage of you. Huh, here we go. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. That's why the trust card is there. This person that you're dealing with, Capricorn, is very complex. Very much so. It's like, I almost feel like they're out of their own body. Like they don't, again, hence another reason for their imbalance, just not being emotionally regulated. But they're going to reach out. They're lost in their thoughts. They're trying to stay optimistic about something here. They know they're going to come back towards you. It's like they, it's like a puppet on a string. They don't they don't know what to do. They're going back and forth in their feelings. But eventually that's gonna stop because somebody's getting duped. Got a thief card. And somebody's under a lot of stress, that bad health card. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm? We're going to leave it at that right now, Capricorn. Till the next round. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.